Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on finding slope from a table. And although there are a lot of different methods for finding slope, you're essentially doing the same thing. You're trying to find the ratio of the vertical and horizontal changes between two points. So here we have a table of values. And a lot of teachers teach what's called finding the change in y over the change in x. So this is our delta y and this is our delta x. And delta means change. We could choose any two points on our table. I'm just going to choose the first two points. So we're going to find the change from negative 8 to negative 5. And to get from negative 8 to negative 5, we have to add 3. And then now to find the change in x's, to get from 0 to 1, we have to add 1. So our delta y over delta x is 3 over 1, which can be reduced to 3. Let's take a look at another example, except this time we're going to use the slope formula. The slope formula means the same thing as delta y over delta x. I'm going to label two points. So we're just going to use the first two. We'll label them x1, x2, y1, y2. And we just substitute these values into the slope formula. So y2 minus y1, here's our y2, here's our y1. So we're going to write 8 minus 12 over x2 minus x1, so that's going to be negative 2 minus negative 4. Remember, when you have minus and negative, it actually becomes plus. So 8 minus 12 is negative 4 over negative 2 plus 4 is 2. And this can be reduced to negative 2. All right, let's take a look at one more example, and we're going to apply both methods, just so you can see that it doesn't matter which method you use, and it doesn't matter which points you use either. So let's try delta y over delta x, and we're going to choose the first two points on our table of values. So to get from 5 to 8, we have to add 3, and to get from 0 to 2, we have to add 2. So our slope would be... 3 over 2. And that can't be reduced, so we'll just keep it like that. Now let's use our slope formula. m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we're going to use the last two points on this table, so I'm just going to label those x1, x2, here's y1, y2. And we just substitute these values into the formula. So y2 minus y1 is 14 minus 8. And then x2 minus x1, that's going to be 6 minus 2. 14 minus 8 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. And 6 over 4 can be reduced to 3 over 2. So this example shows that it doesn't matter what method we use or which points we pick off of our table, we actually will get the same answer after we've reduced if it's possible. That concludes our lesson on finding slope from a table. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comment section. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.